Monthly People, my name is Nicole and this weekend was Emerald City Comic Con. I absolutely love Comic Con. It's one of my favorite times of year and I went this year with my family. I went Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Apparently this year they added on a Thursday but not much was happening so didn't bother going then. But I got some things <laughs> during Comic Con and I wanted to share those with you. So over the weekend I had really big cosplay plans. I was gonna do Kim Possible on Friday, I was gonna do Clary Frey today, and then Wendy as in Peter Pan and Wendy on Saturday. Um, and then I got lazy. So it didn't end up doing Kim Possible. Uh, I kind of half-assed my Clary Frey. I'm wearing all black and leather. But I was much too lazy to curl my hair or put on runes. But however, on Saturday I did do Wendy and my friend is Peter Pan. Here are some pictures from that. It was a lot of fun. The dress was handmade by my wonderful mother. It was really fun to just wander around the con in costume and talk to people and take pictures and all that fun stuff. So moving right into the stuff I got at Comic-Con. The first thing is obviously I have my pass. The pass for this year is Saga themed. And then the next thing I got is this really cool Deadpool jack sports jacket thing um has deadpool on the back it's super super comfy and soft uh, i got it from we love fine and i absolutely love it um i got it like halfway through friday just because i was cold and it's pretty much my favorite thing ever. Also from We Love Fine, because whenever you bought something with, from their booth, they gave you a little token that you could use in their vending machine type thing. It was like one of those little like prize machines that you see in arcades or whatever. You put in a token and it gives you some random thing. And I got this lovely Captain Marvel keychain. Cute little, cute little thing. While wandering around the con, I noticed that Delray Books was giving away free books, just cuz, <laughs> um, I don't know why but I am not going to complain about free books, so I got three books from them. The first book I got was The Shannara Chronicles, The Elf Stones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. Mostly what I know about this one is that it's a fantasy and it's a MTV TV show. I saw the first few episodes and really liked it. I haven't seen the rest of the first season. I've heard good things though, so I don't really know that much about any of these actually. And then I got The Darwin Elevator by Jason M. Hugh. I believe this is a sci-fi. And then I also picked up from Delray Books The Passage by Justin Cronin. Um, again, I don't know a ton about this one, but it seems like it's some kind of survival story where a young girl was abandoned and then there was some kind of government experiment and now she is being hunted by some government agency. That's really all I know about it. I don't know if I'm actually ever going to get around to reading these books, but I mean the, mo the one that I'm most likely to get around to is Shannara Chronicles, but uh, you know, if I'm ever in a sci-fi mood, I have these now. And then at the Quirk Books booth, I picked up the Fangirls Rule the World little booklet, and this has samples from Wonder Woman by Sam Maggs, A Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy by Sam, ba Sam Maggs, and Crafting with Feminism by Bonnie Burton. This is just sort of a little chapter sampler thing. And then just wandering around the con, I picked up a couple bookmarks. This one is for the Custard Protocol series by Gail Carringer. This one is for the Flesh of the Blood by E.A. Shannon. And this one is for the Deadly Class comic book series. And then, of course, because it's Comic-Con, I had to get some comics. So the first one I got is the Fuck Off Squad. And this one, the sort of elevator pitch that was given to me while I was wandering around the show floor was it's queer skater girls trying to figure out how to break up with their first girlfriend. And that just sounded cool to me. On the back it says, it's the greatest comic book about skating Instagram and low-key trying to date someone while you're still in a relationship ever made. Um, I flipped this one a little bit and it looked really cool. And then I got Paper Girls and this one is written by Brian K. Vaughn who is one of the writers of Saga, which is actually what originally caught my attention. Also this awesome cover. I'm kind of a fan of this. Um, this one is about a couple of 12 year old newspaper delivery girls and some kind of mysterious supernatural things start happening. Then I picked up Phonogram Rue Britannia, um, which is volume one of the Phonogram series by Karen Gillan and Jamie McKelvey. It seems like this is about a pop star who is dead, has been dead for like 10 years, and it talks about a phonomancer who she used to be one of his clients. Some kind of music, magic, dead thing. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Then the last comic book I picked up was Deadly Class Volume 2, Kids of the Black Hole. I liked the first one. I didn't absolutely love it, 
but I am definitely interested in continuing on with this series. It's a very sort of dark school of assassins kind of thing. Then because I bought three trade paperbacks at the Image Comics booth, I got this tote bag which says comics in your image and it just has a little Image Comics logo. Uh, which was very helpful for carrying things around all day. Then my favorite part about Comic-Con is always getting art and fun stuff like that, so I picked up a couple, a lot of art pieces. The first one being this piece by Marta Liejo. Um, it says, Dinosaur Eats Man, Woman Inherits the Earth, uh, which is a line from Jurassic Park, and it's so cute, and I like the, the flower crown on the T-Rex. Pretty cute. Then from Sparkle Designs, I picked up this Lion King piece. It says, remember who you are, and it's just really cute, and Lion King is my favorite Disney movie, so I'm really glad to have this one. Then from Cara McGee, I picked up three different little postcard-sized things. The first one is this Black Widow piece. Um, all of these are sort of punk fandom stuff. So this is a Black Widow piece, and then I got Hermione Granger, and... Harry Potter, just because it's my faves, looking badass. <laughs> then from Jason Christman, I picked up this sort of minimalist uh, Millennium Falcon postcard sized piece. Um, it has these stars in the background and just sort of the silhouette of the Millennium Falcon on it. And it's just really pretty, and I like the, the galaxy behind it. And I mean, it's Star Wars, so. Then from Jackie Huang, Huang, I'm sorry. <laughs> Better pronunciation. Um, I got this really, really beautiful little fox piece with the, the fox and then the trees and it's snowing and the night sky in the background. It's so, so, so pretty. I think she does the original pieces in like layers of paper and then just scans them to make prints. But these are so beautiful. It's just the little accents of color, the little accent of red against the blue and the white is so beautiful and I love, love, love this piece. Then from Chi Y Boyd, I got this BB-8 print with its little thumbs up and I mean that was one of my favorite moments in The Force Awakens when BB-8 did its little thumbs up with the lighter and I have a print of it and it's so, so, so cute. Uh, there was a lot of really cute BB-8 art this year. Last year it was a lot of really cute Baymax art. This year the sort of adorable cartoon character that was the focus of everyone's adorable art is BB-8, and I had to pick up at least one print of him. Then from Noelle Stevenson, I got this super cute print of uh, Ballister, Golden Lion, and Nimona, with Nimona being their little child with a stuffed shark, because she can turn into a shark. Nimona is one of my all-time favorite uh, comics, graphic novels, whatever you want to call it. It was so fantastic to find this at Comic-Con. Noelle Stevenson is adorable, and I'm kind of in love with her. She's just wonderful, um, and this print is so, so cute. And then from another one of my favorite artists, Karen Hallian, I got this Agent Carter print. It says, I know my value, anyone else's opinion, it doesn't really matter. And it's Agent Carter, I love Agent Carter. And then for the last two things, Quirk Books was handing out a couple free posters. So the first one I got goes with Sam Maggs' upcoming books, uh, Wonder Woman. So this is really, really cute with lots of cool, badass, smart women. And uh, it makes me kind of excited to <laughs> see what this book is. I think it's just sort of a history of awesome women. And then the other one I got is from the new book, Geeky Parenting. Um, so this one isn't quite as applicable to my life, but it's basically just saying I, all I really need to know about parenting I learned from fantasy, sci-fi, and comics. And then it just talks about uh, a bunch of different fictional parents and what they taught about parenting kind of things. Kind of funny and cute. Alright, so those are all the things I got at Comic-Con this year. I will put the links to all the artists in the doobly-doo so you can find them and buy their art because they're amazing and wonderful and talented. If you are at Comic-Con or if you go to conventions, please tell me what your favorite part of them is because I love going to conventions so much. I can't do it very often because, first of all, they are hella expensive and second of all, they are absolutely exhausting. Um, so I'm gonna go crash and sleep for the next three days. Uh, I love you and I will see you later. Bye!